Oh my gosh, your hair. Did you go natural? Hey guys. Welcome back to my channel, Beauty by Blazing Babe. So today we're going to talk about something that is near and dear to my heart. And that is my natural hair and its journey. This, of course, is not my natural hair. Um, right now I'm going through a phase where it's really hard for winter winds and I'm trying to really protect my hair. So I've been doing um, pretty much just detangling, conditioning, washing, and then braiding it up and wearing different kind of wig kinds of wigs. I can never talk when I do these videos. Okay, so and we're in different kinds of wigs. So this here is Acacia, and I'm not going to talk about her today. I'm going to talk about her in um, another video, probably the next two videos. Will one of them will be um, a review on this wig, um, which I really love. Tell me what you think. I've never worn short hair like this before, but I love it. So today we're going to talk about my natural hair journey and. A natural hair journey video typically is like a slideshow of a woman's journey from when she's natural to when she's black. But I want to do something a little different. I will be putting pictures in here of my black hair so you can see how long it was. It was a long child. But so you can see the difference in the transition. So I will be putting pictures of my relaxed hair to my natural hair while I'm talking. But this is going to be more of an informational video because I feel like... If you want to go natural, you need to research. So if you research my natural journey videos, you should actually hear the person talking about it, tell them what remedies they use, how long it took, what methods they use, like stuff like that, instead of just a whole timeline of pictures and I don't know what you did. So that's what I'm going to do today. So let's begin. Where do you even start? Okay, so I went natural um, in June of 2013. And it was right after I graduated high school. And I personally went natural for the wrong reasons. I was kind of being peer pressure to go natural because relaxed hair is kind of boring. But it is one of the best decisions that I've ever made. I love being natural. What I love about being natural is the versatility. Like, you can do so much relaxed hair. You can wear your hair straight. You can wear weaves and wigs and braids and crochets and things. The list goes on and on. So, me, I like to switch it up, as you can tell. So, that being natural is just a great thing for me. And also, what I love about being natural is your hair is healthy. Like, you don't have to worry about the chemicals. It was scary getting a relaxer. For me, it was scary. Like, I heard horror stories and pictures. Ah, it was scary. So, for me, just knowing that my hair is healthy, is strong, is durable. Like, I feel like your hair is your crown. It should be your pride. And I don't want my pride to be filled with chemicals. So, that's why I chose to be natural. So, I should go natural. So my natural journey in June of 2013, I just graduated high school, getting ready to go into my freshman year of college. So the first thing I did is I stopped getting relaxers, and well actually that's not even true. First thing I did was research, which I think everybody should research because there are different methods of going natural. So I researched and I found the two main methods of going natural, and that is transitioning, where you gradually grow out your natural hair and trim your relaxed hair off, and the big chop. So, me personally, I was not about to cut all my hair off. No, ma'am. So, I did not choose the big top. I did transition. And at the time, I had a very stable hairdresser. And so, I told her I wanted to go natural. And she was like, girl, you want to go natural? I was like, yes, ma'am. And she pretty much trimmed my wax hair off of me gradually. Like, I would be growing out my, I'd be growing out my natural hair. And uh, I'd be like, I need my hair trimmed, I need an appointment, and she would trim my hair, and she knew how much to take off, how much not to take off, she knew what I was comfortable with, so that's very important that either if you're cutting your hair, you get somebody else to cut your hair, know what you're comfortable with, don't just, if you're not comfortable with cutting it all off, don't just cut it all off, because it's going to take a toll on you, trust. So yeah, I chose the transitioning method, and to get through the transitioning method, I can't tell you about the big top method because I didn't do it, but I think it would be, if you're comfortable, you don't care, if your hair is short, long, whatever, I would choose the big top method. Me personally, I'm not comfortable with that, so I chose transitioning and I would not take back my choice, but it did take time. I transitioned and it took me ten and a half months to go from relaxed to fully natural, and that, I believe, is because you have to keep up with it. Like, I've heard it takes way longer for some people, sometimes it takes way, well, I would say way shorter, but... What I did, let me just tell you what I did, girl. This is what I did. Okay, so I have a hairdresser. And so, well, you know how you're going natural, you're like, oh, God, I get to do twist styles, braid out, stuff like that. When you're first going natural, it doesn't really work like that unless you really know how to do it. You got to learn how much product to put in your hair. It's just like a whole, you just got to get to know your hair. That's why they call it a natural hair journey because it is a journey. You really get to know your hair. You really get to know yourself. So, 
I learned that my hair was not to take no twist outs and braid outs and I had just one after a week ago. So what I did is I used protective style like there was no other. I did so many forms of Molly twists and I'll put some in this video. I did them myself. I had uh, so many different colors of Molly twists. So many different times because that's when Molly twists was hot. I mean it's still hot but that's when it was like really hot. So I have Molly twists. I can't tell you how many times I got those. So they're just easy protective styles I could do myself. They're lightweight. I'm in college so you know I got I did box braids crochet braids. I didn't really do weaves but that's definitely a good alternative but it would probably need to be a full weave because leave out that's going to cause damage to your hair if you're like straightening and stuff. It's just not going to be good. Um, and wigs. I didn't really do wigs. I think I did like two because back then I wasn't really like a wig person like I am now. Like I have a whole collection now honey. I got a whole collection. <laughs> But back then I didn't, so I didn't really do wigs, but I wish I would have because you really get to grow and just really protect your hair when it comes to wigs like I'm doing now. But nonetheless, I use protective styles. The main one for me was Molly Twist and box braids, probably because of my age in college. So, yeah. So, um, another thing to know about if you're going to transition, you don't really have to worry about this if you're going to big chop, but if you're going to transition like I did, know about the line of demarcation. So, what is line of demarcation? Pretty much, that is the barrier between your natural hair going in and your relaxed hair that's growing out slash you're cutting. So, that line is very thin. It's easy to break and become damaged. And you just don't want those problems. You really don't. So, a good way to do that is to not put a lot of, a lot of tugging and pulling on your hair. Um, be gentle with it. Know that that line is there. Know that it's sensitive. Keep your hair conditioned. You just have to know your hair. Like, I had to learn, for me personally, my hair is extremely thick. When it was growing out, oh my gosh, extremely thick and extremely thirsty. And by thirsty, I mean just longing for conditioning, oils, stuff like that. And it absorbs them so fast. So literally, like, every day I had to condition my hair. Leave-in conditioners, of course. And you also have to figure out what products are good for your hair. There are a bajillion natural hair products, like a bajillion. So what I did is I gradually tried different products, like... If I try silk elements, not silk elements, I'm sorry. If I try like smooth essentials this week and say I finished it in like two weeks, then I'm going to try something else. If I don't like that, I'm going to go back to smooth essentials. So pretty much you just have to bounce around different products. Don't just buy the whole natural hair section in the beauty supply store. Don't do that. <laughs> just bounce around and also when you buy these products, read what the purpose of these products are. If you know you, ooh, I'm sorry. If you know that you... Um, need like growth oils, you, your hair needs that extra support to grow, don't go get something for breakage. If you need something for breakage, but the product says that this is for conditioning uses only, or this is for growth use only, don't get that. Get what you need. If you really just don't want to go through that culture shock of going from um, long, straight, relaxed hair to like no hair or like half natural half relaxed and you can't do the stuff you want wigs and weaves are a great alternative for that because your hair can be braided and protected underneath and glowing and you can still have the look that you're used to just I would not recommend leave out that you have to like straighten because it's definitely going to damage your hair it's only going to damage that piece of your hair which is usually in the front so you don't want that to look bad so yeah definitely protective styles and just really research know which method is for you which method oh my gosh I can't talk which method is for you, which method you're most comfortable with, and just, like, embrace the journey. Don't look at it as like, oh my god, I gotta curl my hair out for, like, a year. Like, embrace the journey. It's a great um, way to get to know yourself, get to know your hair, like, really come in touch and come, become one with your hair and yourself. Yeah. So, if you have any questions, comments, you like my wings, put it in the comments. Like, the video and subscribe. Thanks again for watching.